اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین السلاۃ والسلام علی رسول الکریم نبی نا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم خاتم الانبیاء والمرسلین رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی عمری وحلل اقتتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہم افرغ قلبنا بحب العلم رب زدن علما my very dear respectable passionate quran course fellows assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i welcome you all to the this uh, another lesson of understand al quran the easy way alhamdulillah allah made quran so easy for us dr abdul aziz abdul rahim was uh, blessed with the ability to create such course which is bringing us close to the quran every day and in the course to today we are going to complete our page 4 so almost completing a major part of the course and inshallah the remaining page page 5 will be completed in the coming weeks so today we are doing page 4 and last pointer which is the pointer d and we have on this page already covered <coughs> that what warning was given what example allah gave of the mosquito and how different people react differently and yesterday we did study about what is the importance of keeping the covenant of allah and also keeping our relationship intact and today after all that while allah is the creator of everything how could we disbelieve so this is inshallah we are going to learn today the actions for the or the pointers for the fourth page we did we have been doing them and they are warning and good news example of a mos- mosquito who goes astray and disbelieve and then the short forms are warning mosquito astray and disbelief so let's see who takes the lead today is it possible mashallah this time brother brother saidu has uh, <laughs> start to be yes brother assalamu alaikum wa alaikum warning and good news example of a mosquito who goes astray how can you disbelieve the short forms warning mosquito astray disbelieve mashallah brother and our sister kafaya assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam sister the first point is warning and good news example of mosquito who goes astray how can you disbelieve the shot from any mosquito astray disbelief and sister if we would give the award for being more participative participant i think it should go to you mashallah you're always there and you're always taking lead sister catherine assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam, assalam. warning and good news example of mosquito who goes astray how can you disbelieve short form warning mosquito astray disbelieve perfect sister jazakallah <clears throat> so we have no revised three times so warning mosquito astray and disbelieve and let's come to the introduction of these uh, verses of quran uh this is about how can you disbelieve so the very first word of this pointer the arabic word kaifa kaifa is a question word and tak takfuruna comes from kafara which is about rejecting or not believing so kaifa takfuruna so how can you disbelieve <clears throat> we already know its its connection with the previous ayas but it is repeated every day so that you could keep the entire subject in your mind and whenever you know 
you have to uh, do the translation. The subject works as an indicator and as a spark to bring the entire meaning in your mind. So now from these ayahs, like all other ayahs of Quran, there are lessons for all of us. And the lessons of these ayahs are, we cannot deny Allah because everything, our life, our death, our resurrection in this world, <clears throat> in his, is in his, his hands. We have to go back to him. So all Puriyans to have a comfortable life given by Allah. Allah has arranged everything, this universe, this world in such a way that we are provided with a wonderful life. And he knows everything, including all our thoughts and actions. So for such, such a being, which is Allah, how could we deny him? You know, he's giving us everything, who has created everything, who has organized everything. So, as we always say, Alhamdulillah, Allah has made our work very easy. Quran has been made very easy. So now, today, there are a few new words for us. There are lots, lots of words which we have already learned. So, inshallah, we will start with the challenge questions for all of you. And but before that, as we always do, we will do the recitation of the words. So while you are listening to the recitation, you should try to focus on the meanings of the words, their construction, their grammatical structure, you know, whatever you know about them. So think of it. Okay, how is this form? What are the parts? What is the first one, second, third part? What could be its meaning? How does it associate? Which table does it come from? Which, which verb is it? وَالَّذِي خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي الْعَرْضِ جَمِيعًا ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ فَصَبَّاهُنَّ سَبْعَ سَمَاوَاتٍ وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ Now, tell me the meanings of kaifa. How, sir? How? 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 Excellent. So we... Kaifa Haluka. Yes. Haluna Tayyib. Alhamdulillah. How are you? So, so people would respond, Ana Bakhair wa Kaifa Anta. Ana Bakhair. Yeah. So now we are, we are turning to be Arabs. So, Kaifa Haluka. Ana Bakhair wa Kaifa Anta. Ma Ismuka. So the you know, gradually, we should start learning these little, little expressions. But anyways, our focus is the Quranic Arabic. And this is a question word, kaifa. So, takfuruna, which field does it come from? Kafara. Kafara. And what will be the action for takfuruna? What will be the action? How would you do it? All fingers in front of you. Yeah. All fingers like this. Takfuruna. Takfuruna. Kaifa takfuruna. How can you deny? How can you reject? How can you disbelieve? All of you. Takfuruna. Billahi. How many parts? Two parts. Two parts. Two parts. Which tale is it? Wakuntum. Kana. Kana. Why separate? And from Kana, tell me the Madi, Madi forms of Kana quickly. Everyone. Kana, Kana. Kana, Kana. Kana. You know, this is a good way to revise our tables also. So, Kana, Kanu, Kunta, Kuntu, Kuntum. This is Kuntum, plural all of Kun, uh, Kuntum. Kuntum, Amvata, 
I think Amvata is an easy word to translate. What do you think is it? Mouth. Mouth Amvata. Dead. Yeah, it is not mouth Amvata. Dead. You were all dead. And Amvata is Ism fail has Ism. Ism. And how would, you, how would you break down the next word? How many parts? Ahya kum. Three parts. Three parts. Yes, three parts. No, two parts. Three parts. No. Okay. Three. Okay. Uh, how do you uh, some of you are saying two, some are saying three. So tell me how, how many finally? Three. Five. Yeah. And then kum. Ahya. And kum. Yes. Right. Ahya. Ahya and Kum. Yeah. Fa is a separate one. Ahya is about life, you know, and Kum, you all. So Summa. Summa. Did we study Summa earlier? What does it mean? Summa. Then. Then, then, then again. Then, then, then again. Then. Summa. You meet Kum. You meet to. Kum. So, how many parts? Two parts. Two parts. Two parts. Two parts. Two parts. So, it is from Ahya, uh, the fa, fa, Ahya, and Kum. And then you meet to Kum. And then comes Summa Yuhi Kum. Yuhi Kum. How many parts? Two parts. Two parts. Two parts. So, this Yuhi is Ahya Yuhi. Okay? Yohiyikum uh, summa ilayhi ilayhi. Do the action. Which side? How will you do the action of ilayhi? Right hands. 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 Can somebody tell me which which veil is it? Turjaun. Raja. Raja. Yeah. Mashallah. Excellent. Raja. But Raja is Raja is on the pattern of which veil? Majilul Daraba. That is on the style of Daraba. Okay, okay. Daraba. Yeah. Yadri. 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 Raja Yarju. Tarju. So that is Tarju Tarjuna. How come this is Turjauna? Any idea? Madhul. Madhul. Passive voice. Mashallah. I'm extremely happy to know this, that Mashallah, you're all doing extremely well. Very well. So, yes, this is Madhul or passive voice, but comes from the same uh, fail, Raja. Mashallah. Okay. Now, please raise hand. I want somebody to do, to translate these words because I think this entire expression, you all know it very well. So someone will raise hand so that we all could listen to it and will translate this part. Mashallah. Brother Faisal is coming forward. Very happy to have you, Brother Faisal. So please translate up till fil art. Yeah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hua allazi, hua, it is allazi he Hualazi, it is he who Halaka lakum Halaka created lakum you Halaka lakum created you. Created lakum, brother, it is lakum, lakum, lakum for, you. You. For, you. For, you. For, you. for you, for you, for you, for you, for you, ma in or on fill arzi. On earth. In, it is on earth. On earth. Okay, perfect. So, whatever is in the earth or on earth. Whatever, yes. Jamiya. What does Jamiya mean? Sir, uh, all, 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 all of all. All of it. 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 Perfect. Alhamdulillah. So, Jamiya. So you, so, you see, mashallah, now we are enabled to be able to do the translation, but at the same time, please remember, you know, with a little change, the meaning would change. So if we say, and we translate, he is the one who created you all, 
would have a different meaning and mm. if we say created for you all lakum would have a different meaning so mashallah mm. but still brother great work uh, whatever Sorry. mashallah okay let's move forward summa then we will then, okay. study this now istawa ila samai ila what does ila mean two two words okay sama uh, uh, sky sama is right. above the heaven right right so how would how many parts of the next word fasawwa hunna fa sawwa three parts two three parts three three parts mashallah sawwa excellent sawwa hunna sab'a sama sab'a is from the arabic counting so माशाला so it's so 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 easy for us alhamdulillah because allah has put us on a journey of learning quran and things are being made easy for us so let's now move forward inshallah now we'll look at the word for word and phrase for phrase translation kayfa takfuruna billahi how can you disbelieve in allah how can you reject allah allah kayfa takfuruna billahi kaifa takfuruna billahi so each word you should be looking carefully at their structure uh, and their translation wa kuntum and when you were amwata lifeless or dead so we are not using the uh, uh, word dead here rather lifeless because we use the dead after coming to the life so so the death comes after coming to life amwata lifeless fa ahyakum fa then ahyakum he brought you to life ahya he brought to life kum to you all so he brought you all to life and who is he here fa ahyakum allah allah summa then yumitukum yumitu comes from mata yumitu mata he died you me to uh so, so here it is he will cause you to die so you me to come you me to come so then he will uh cause you to die and then summa you he come summa you he come he will bring you to life so ya yuhi he will bring you back to life so summa and then ilaihi to him towards him turjaun so otherwise it had to be you return it is you will be returned because of majhul or passive you will be returned so towards him you all will be returned so kuntum amwata fahiyakum just a minute see here fa ahya and kum see parts summa and see the next form you me to two parts see summa yuhyi again two parts yuhyi summa again ilayhi turjaun towards him he will be returned so kayfa takfuruna billahi wa kuntum amata fahiya you were dust allah brought us to life we were all you know lifeless we could never have been able to do it ourselves and only allah knows when and how we will die summa yumitukum summa yuhyitu we cannot deny allah because our life our death and our resurrection and our bringing brought to the life again is in his hands sumaire turjaun 
So we have to go back to him. Therefore, we cannot afford to be careless. We cannot deny him. We cannot disbelieve in him. So, so just read it out once. Make sure you read it loud enough that you could listen to it yourself. While I look for something which has just come to my mind. When you are doing the... So, are you able to do that? The translation yourself? Okay. So, this comes from... All right, so stimulant. Yeah, just a, just a quick correction. That's what I was uh, thinking and I was looking for. Uh, this is Yumitu. This word is from just a minute. Yeah. This is not from Mata. Did we study Mata earlier? No, sir. No. Oh, okay. So I think I should better not. Anyways, just a minute. Just now, because I said Mata, so it's not from Mata. From Mata, it was Yamutu. Uh, he died. But this is from the word Amata, which is Amata. he made someone to die. Amata. That's why the meanings here are he will cause you to die. Amata, you me too. So that becomes the mudare of amata. So just a quick correction. Because I think I earlier spoke the word mata yamutu. It is from amata you me too. Okay. All right. And inshallah, when you'll start your QC3, the next level, you will understand these mazid fi afal. The afal with more than three uh root letter uh, three uh letters so all right now let's move forward Allah is so kind to help us understand okay so now let's move forward and the next case okay you're challenging questions a b c d B, sir. B. B. Yes, right. Perfect. Fahia B. A. B, sir. A. Okay. Remember, it is Fahia C. 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 D. D. A. D. 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 Okay. You all will be returned because it's it's plural. Okay. Allah knows. A, B, C, D. 
when we will die, how many years we will live, how we will die, where we will die. A, B, C, D. All. All. A, B, C, D. Perfect. So, we can say Allah because dash are hands. A, B, C, D, sir. A, B, C, D. All. 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 Okay. Great. So, that's all. So, the first time you all have mashallah over then, who will be khalat al jamia, it is the who, he is who, khalaka, created, he created, lakum for all of you, mafi, whatever is, in, in on earth or in the earth, jamia, all of it, summastava, now from here, summastava, then, he directed himself ila towards sama the heaven meaning by he he took his attention towards the heaven after creating the earth and everything summastava then he directed himself ila sama towards the heaven towards the sky and fasabba hunna fa sabba hunna fa is of then subba Sabah is about making something or, uh, you know, making something, giving something a nice shape. So, sort of, uh, uh, here it could also mean in the meaning of, you know, putting them in order. So, in that way, Fasab Vahunna and made them. And what is Hunna here? Here, here Hunna. No, I mean, what are these things? Where does it return to this? Profess to the Sama. Sama. It is plural, remember. All whatever was done. For Sabba Hunna Sama Samawat. Okay. So, yes, and by the way, Hunna, uh, very rightly, someone said from here. You know, you have already done Hua as well as Huma and Hum for Muzakkar. And for Monas, we have done Fiya and two is also Huma and Hunna. Hunna. So, all. It's a plural form. Hunna. Pasabha Hunna, Sabha, Samavat. So, the two words here are new for you. Istava, Summastiva. So, Istava. Is he directed himself? Ila semai towards the heavens. Fasab bahunna here pa you know. Sabba is to 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 set something in order. Hunna is the plural for so here so fasab bahunna and he made them. He put them all in order. Sabaa samavat seven skies seven. Okay. Wahua bikulli shayin alim. Wahua and he is. Bikulli shay of all the things Aleem, all knowing, knowing forever. So I think there are only two new words for us today here. One is istava, the other one is sabba. sabba. Okay? So we have to keep them in mind. So summa stava ila samai. If you remember the phrase, it will be easy to uh, remember the word. Similarly, if you remember the phrase it will be easy to remember the meanings of sabha. Okay. So sabha samava, seven skies, alim. So it is Allah's great mercy and loving care that He gave us all provisions to have a comfortable life. He created everything for us. And you know, and He created everything in such a nice proportion. They are proportionate to our needs. You see, imagine their changes. Imagine the oranges were of the size of the, uh, you know, watermelons, and what would have happened if they were hanging on the, on the tree, you know. So everything has been made in such a nice proportion: color, size, taste. Allah created the huge sky with billions and billions of stars in it, plus six more skies above it, and you know. In Quran, the creation of skies is more, uh, you know, worthy, and it is something of more strange, uh, 
rather even even more stranger than the creating of you meaning by us you know plus all these guys standing without any support they have more insight for all of you in it so and he knows the status the details and the thoughts of every creature this feeling of wonder alhamdulillah as as well as at the same time fear that he knows everything i should not be doing anything wrong and amazement about allah in our hearts allah created everything for us and this should help us to love him that he is the owner and he is the distributor and he is the creator of everything so your time to say it out by the way the word is tiwa in its uh, uh, you know the uh, original meanings is like he had intention he intended to towards the heaven because of the running translation uh, we are making it like then he directed himself meaning by he had the intention intention to uh, create the heavens and all that and similarly as i said sawa which appears to be here as made is in fact for uh setting something nicely uh sort of uh, in that sense okay a b c d for sawa hunna c yes Allah created for us A B C D. A B C D. All. A B C D. All. A B C D. Now your time. This time you will focus on Arabic, translate it, and only then look at the translation once you have done it already. much noise okay so let's move forward so we have learned the lessons we cannot deny allah's allah because our life death and recreation is in his hands we have to go back to him all provisions and comfortable life is given by allah and he knows everything he even understands our intentions thoughts and actions so let's pray to allah allah help us to ponder in your creations to increase our faith you know the more we ponder about the world created around us it should help us improve our faith our iman so allah fill our hearts with your greatness help us stay away from sins and of course we need to have a plan to ponder give ourselves times move around as allah says in quran afala yanzurun allah says in quran afalam yasiru so allah invites us to 
do observations, move around, see his earth, and ponder upon his creations of skies and earth and everything. And then, of course, take help from it to improve our Iman and him. <coughs> Let's do Asma. So from Amwata, <coughs> as comes from Mayyit. And what is the plural of Mayyit? Mayyit, Amwat. 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 And Arz. Arazi. Arazi. Sama. Samawat. 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 So, and the. Sure. We have also done it earlier. I think we have done all of them earlier, except the Mayyit, which is Amwat. Now, the short tables from Takfuruna, we take Kafara. We'll do the Kafara short table. Kafara. Kafara, Yakfuru, Okfur, Kafir, Makfur, Kofur. All right. Here comes the table of Raja on the pattern of Doraba. Raja. 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 Yes. So Raja A Yarji U Erji Rajun Dash Ruju on. So the one who returns is himself who is returning. So Khalaka is very easy. Everybody do the Khalaka table from Nasara, pattern of Nasara. Khalaka Yakhalaka Khalak Mashallah. Excellent. So we have already done from Kuntum comes from Kana Yakunu Kun Kain dash on Kain dash on. So on the pattern of Kala. Alhamdulillah. So this brings the lesson to the end. Any quick questions or relevant questions before we come to the grammar part? Okay, no questions. Let's begin with our grammar. A'uz billahi min ash-shaytan rajim In the grammar, alhamdulillah, we have another advantage that we are doing the revision of all what we have learned earlier. And this revision should help us to, you know, uh, strengthen uh, all the verbs which we have already learned in our memory. And, you know, by this time, we should have learned the meanings of all these verbs and once you know the meaning and you also know which pattern do they follow, the style they follow, Alhamdulillah, you can do any part of it. So the short table could also help you to expand it to the full table. So inshallah, we'll do the grammar for 4D and today as we have already covered uh, Fataha, Nasara and Daraba, so we'll do the pattern of styles of Samia, Wahaba and Wa'ada. So Samia is the sound verb, but Wahaba Wa'ada are weak verbs. So you see, we have learned sound verbs of Fataha, Nasar, Daraba, Samia, four styles. So can somebody quickly tell me the mudari of these four styles? Fataha Yaftahu, Nasara Yansur, Zaraba Yazribu, Samia Yasmau. MashaAllah. So brother and sister, each one of you should have this clarity very clearly. And with, you know, uh, perfection. Now, Alhamdulillah, we have revised them so many times. And now, the weak letters. And on what style do they come? So, Wahaba comes on style of Fataha. Daraba comes on style of Wa'ada. So, very quickly, what is the, what is the mudari of Wahaba? Yahabu. Yahabu. It is not Yuhabu, like Fataha Yaftahu. But because of weak letter, it is little different. So, Wa'ada... What is Mudari of Wa'ada? Yahidu. 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 So we need to understand the vow because of weak letter, it goes away. So Wa'ada, Yahidu. 
all right so kala yaqulu sara what is kala yaqulu kala yaqulu kala yaqulu and zada zada yazidu zada yazidu excellent and da da yadu da yadu so you see their pattern they 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 are changing because of their uh where the weak letter falls although they are on the pattern of nasara but you see kala becomes yakulu da becomes yadu yadu reason is because their weak letter is at a different place so similarly hada yahdi yahdi so again there is a change because its weak letter is different and at a different uh Uh, different place like in zada it is in the center but in hada it is at the end and then we have also done the verbs with repeated letters like zanna and dalla alhamdulillah we used the word ya kafa ya dil yes that was also so we we we've been doing different uh, actually a fall on the pattern of these afal as well so now we are only repeating the afal which we covered in qc1 and qc2 okay up till now so right now we'll see the afal which come on the pattern of samia but before i come to that i would like somebody from you to raise hand and do the complete table of samia because once you do the complete table of samia so and you make the short table of any other verb you will know that you know what will be the complete table of that verb Yes. Okay, brother Faisal, are you are you going to do this? Yes. Samia, Samio, Samieta, Samietu, Samietum, Samiena, Ya Samiat. Yasmau, Yasmahuna, Tasmau, Asmau, Tasmahuna, Nasmau, Ya Tasmau. Nashal. Same uh, Isma, Ismahu, La Tasma, La Tasmahu. Samion, Masmuon, Samatun, Ya Samun. some on mashallah excellent so you see and brother what does it mean samia sir he listen he listen he listen he listen perfect so you see brother and sisters mashallah brother has done it in, <clears throat> with such a perfection and efficiency so this is how we all should have the command over these uh, basic styles you know once you know these four basic styles in a right manner they are going to be of great great help for learning other afal so so now we know that samia yasma wa isma same masmu sama and on this pattern all the afal which will come on this pattern we can easily because we have the skill we know it we will be able to make their full table without much help so let me now uh, rather than showing it to you give you the challenge of alima you know alima is also on the pattern of samia So who is going to do it? Yes, brother Kamran. <clears throat> Alema, Alemu, Alemta, Alemtu, Alemtum, Alemna, Yalamu, Yalamuna, Talamu, Alamu, Talamuna, Nalam. <laughs> علم علم لا تعلم لا تعلم علم لا تعلم معلوم علم 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 معلوم علم علم ما شاء الله so now the short table is very easy علم يعلم علم 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 ما شاء الله So now, anyone who will do the short table of Amila on the pattern of Samia, Amila, Ami Yamal, Emal, 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 Amil, Amil, Amal, Amul, and Amul. excellent very good so you know this this makes it very easy once we know the basic pattern now you see only alima comes in quran 518 times 
so it means once you know its short table you ultimately know the entire table and you will be able to do it for example look at the aya which is given as a reference aya here inni alam ma la ta'lamun so see the, the same fail has come twice in it so tell me what is alam do the action of alam what does it mean which one alam no. i know it is towards you one finger towards it is written in ni alam ma la ta'lamu alam so alam what is the what is the action we have learned for it Finger, finger, pointing finger, towards. Finger One towards. finger pointing. Yeah. 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 What does it mean? Alamu, yeah. I know. Alamu, alamu. Alamu, yeah. No. Meaning? No. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Alamu. Oh, no. I know. So, and what is the alamu? You all know. You, you all know. know. Oh, so, fingers. It is in the alamu. Indeed, I know. Malat alamu. But you, you all don't know. You all don't know. know. Yeah. So, so you see, this is how these afal are then used. Alhamdulillah, we know it, and we have also done Amila. Now, let's look at Hamida. Yeah, Hamida. Alhamdulillah, we have been studying Hamd many times. We learnt about it. The the you know that was this, and we were learning its meanings. But today we get to know that this is from the Hamida, and Hamida comes on the pattern of Samia. So Hamida, Yahmadu, Ehmad, Hamid, Hamid. Let's everybody say it with me. Very important one, Hamida. 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 Yahmadu. Praised. Hamida. 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 Praised. Okay. Now follow me, please. Follow my commands. Hamida. 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 Yahmadu. Yahmadu. Ahmad. Ahmad. Hamid. Hamid. What will be the plural of Hamid, by the way? Plural of Hamid. 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 Okay, just. Hal antum hamidun? Naam. Naam. Hamidun. Mashallah. Hamidun. Okay. So this is how you should create now your own sentences and structures. Hamid, one who praises. Mahmud, who is praised. So who is Mahmud, by the way? Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah, who is praised, right? So, yes. ham, 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 ham. Okay. ham. So, so, it's beautiful, it's beautiful uh, verb as well. Khasira, khasira, you know, he, he did a loss. Loss. Yes. Yeah. He lost. Loser. Khasira. Khasira. Khasira, <laughs> And you may find also khusran written. So it, it has both <coughs> mustar or ism fail. Both are okay. Right? So but there you know, is no maksur. There is no maksur because you are making your own loss. Khasir. When you Loser. did a loss, you did your loss. Huh? Okay. You understand? Yes. So in all those afal, where the action of the doer has an impact on himself, we don't have a mafool. All right? So, similarly, if somebody, uh, you know, like in Hafa, we said Khaif, the one who uh, 
fears. So there is no mahoof because it is you yourself. So for all those of all where the action impacts you, <coughs> okay. In fact, even if we say maksur, it will be you yourself again. So why? What is the reason of repeating it? So khas sir, mm. okay. right? So alhamdulillah, look at them. You know these are not just short table, but look at them: five hundred eighteen, three hundred eighteen, forty six, fifty one. which means you are learning almost 1000 afal of quran from these short tables so it, we we really need to pay more attention to it to make sure that we know them very well and then is shahida shahida he testified he witnessed so in that sense shahida shahida yashhadu yashhadu ahid shahid Everybody, I will do the action, and you all will say. Shahida. 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 Yashadu. Yashadu. Ishad. Ishad. Shahida. Shahada. Shahada. If I what if I do an action like this with my left hand? So how would you say it in Arabic for Shahida? Shahida. 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 So Shahid was Shahid was the muzakkar or the uh, or you know the uh, masculine 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 who was testifying, and Shahida is the feminine. Shahida is the feminine. Okay. Great. So, Alhamdulillah, and Shahida on the pattern of Samia. Samia is also Ahida. Ahida, covenant of Allah from Ahd is Ahida. Adu, Ahd, Ahd, Mahu, and Ahd. Now I'll do the actions. You will say out. Ahida. Ahida. Ahdu. Ahdu. quick challenge questions for all of you ya maluna a b c d b and d b and d okay b and d they do they will do ba'mal salihat a and they did no no पैटर्न ऑफ सामियान वर्ब that appear in quran 1205 times so there are 130 verbs on this pattern in quran and they appear 2400 times okay samia style but we did the ones we did the smart work we have first done the ones which appear the most time in quran alhamdulillah let's now do the verbs on the pattern of wahaba So we already know wahaba yahabu hab wahib mahub wahun or wahabun. So both are okay. So wahaba. Now he. What does wahaba mean? He gave. He gave. He gifted. Yes. In this he sense. Granted. Yeah. So we did. Ah, uh, I think we did a fail on the pattern of wahaba. It was wadaa. Do you remember wadaa? Yeah, he put. Yeah, he put. He put. Yeah, very good, mashallah. So, can you do the short table of it? Wada, 
Amar is a bit difficult one, you know, da. So, and then, da. 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 Wa edu. Wa edu. Wa edu. Maudun. Maudun. And wa edu. Wa edu. Wa edu. Let's do waka. Waka. Ya And then you'll get chance for practice. Waka. Ya kau. Ka. Wa. Wa. Okay. Do it now. So it means he happened or it happened. Okay. Okay. A B C D. Hablana. D. D. C D A D D D. Remember, it is wa hablana. D. So D. Okay. D D. D. And hab. Give lana for all of us to us. So there are fifty-five verbs that occur fifty times in Quran on this pattern. Now let's do on the pattern of waada. By the waada, by the way, anyone who will do the quick short table of waada, you have already done it. Waada yaidu ahad, wahid maud wadu. Mashallah, excellent brother. And on the same pattern we did wajada. Anyone on this wajada? Wajada. Wajada yaidu yaidu wajid maud wajid wajid maud wajid wajid. You are all doing so well. So, Wa'ada Ya'idu Id, Wa'id Ma'ud, Wa'adun, and he promised what it is, okay? So, Wajada is also same pattern. Wajada Ya'idu Jid, Wajid, Ma'ud, Ujud, okay? He found, and Wasala, Wasala, yeah, we also did it in the last class, learnt about this. Where we did use usilu, usilu. So it is from wasala, wada, wasala, yasilu. Wasala yasilu sil, wasil mosul mosul. Excellent. Everyone, everyone, do it. Everyone, say it, please, so that you have enough practice. Wasala, wasala, yasilu sil, sil, wasal. Usul. Blind. Okay. So or he connected in that sense. Walada. He gave birth. Walada. Walada. Walid. 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 We did it in Surah Yulad. So do it again. Waka. <laughs> And you know this key is the same key which we learned in Wakina Azabandar. So when we were doing in the beginning of uh, at the end of the QC1, we said Rabbana Atina Fid Dunya Hasanatam Fila Hirati Hasanatam Wakina Wakina. Remember at that time we did the three parts of it. 
and they were amazing wa had a meaning ki had a meaning na had a separate meaning sa wa ki na and se was so this is the key amr ki na save us azabna from the hellfire so wa kim moki yun vikaya to waqa he saved ya ki ki now everyone do it waqa waqa रिमेम्बर इट इज सर C. Okay, big question. <coughs> Now B. 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 So I still need to have more clarity about noun keys and verb keys. B. Okay. Yeah. Wajid, majud, wujud. Verb keys of wasala. B. A. 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 Remember this time these are verb keys. A. 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 Rather than jumping to be the first one to answer, you also have to then show yeah. that you answer rightly. Yeah, it is A. Vasala yasilu sil verb yeah. keys. So vajatum, how would you translate it? A B C D. Vajatum, you. You all found. Vajatum, you all found. You all found. You all found. You my sister was rightly doing it you know wajatum you all found so we have practiced seven more verbs that appear in quran 350 times alhamdulillah so with every new verb we are coming closer to this great book alhamdulillah you know for spoken arabic usually these are the same expressions conversations you keep going so any two of you can do this hal shahidta it is a different different one a little different one so i would like you to नाम शाहिद ना हाल तशहद नाम अशहद हाल तशहदुन नाम नशहद अशहद नाम नशहद सो ओके हाल समितुम अल कुरान ए बी सी डी सी सर सो व्हेन एवर इट इज समितुम अल कुरान एंड हाल सो वी विल से नाम समित अल कुरान सो If I ask you all, Ismaul Quran, what would you say? Nam Ismaul Quran. Uh, so listen to the Quran. So far, so far, na, so far, na Ismaul Quran. Mashallah, excellent, sister. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, although when I said Ismaul Quran. a simple answer could be na small quran na small quran but we love quran we would say so fa na small quran okay hal antum hamidun na na nahnu hamidun nahnu hamidun okay so similarly the conversation for hal wa'adta na'am wa'adtu please look at the last ones id when you are asked id so what do you say what would you say i do i do okay and i do na i do i do so we are ready to make make, make a promise hal ya'idu allah al mu'minin naam ya'idu allah al mu'minin so ya'idu will be responded accordingly you know yes sir naam ya'idu allah al mu'minin allah is definitely made promise with the believers so similarly for wajatta and usalta 
And Alhamdulillah, that brings us to the... By the way, let's quickly look at the... Hal wasalta. How would you respond? Naam wasaltu. Naam wasaltu. Hal wasaltu. Naam wasal naam. Hal tasilu. Naam tasilu. Tasilu. Hal tasilu na. Naam nasilu. Naam nasilu. Mashallah. So this brings us to the end of the end of the uh, lesson, and you know the one more reveal is when you will write on your workbook, and once you will fill in your workbook, inshallah, then these will be stored in your mind forever, and with the help of these reveal verbs, we are learning thousands of verbs. Of May Allah. Help us to decide, understand, ponder, and memorize the Quran. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika. Nash'adu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. So, we are open for questions, comments, or suggestions.